Hi, we are now at the Santa Barbara office of the nationally acclaimed MS Society, Multiple Sclerosis Society, and with me is Regional Program Manager, Janet Chang. How are you doing, Janet? I'm good, thank you. It's good to have you with us today, and I would like to start this interview by explaining our viewers what is exactly multiple sclerosis? Sure. Uh, multiple sclerosis is a disease of the central nervous system, which means that it affects the brain and the spinal cord. And so in that case, this immune system is actually overactive and attacks the protective coating around the spinal cord. And so for that reason, just depending upon where the uh, damage has been, all the symptoms of MS can be very different. So it can start all the way from the top of the body with the eyes, so double vision, uh, blurry vision, and it can really move all the way down into you know, half the body being paralyzed, the whole body, you know, trouble with walking, as well as cognitive and fatigue issues, which are sort of the more invisible but very important uh, big symptoms of MS. Who can get MS? So there are three main uh, sort of factors with that. So the first is that it does strike women twice as frequently as it does men. The second is that ethnicity-wise, it tends to be a disease of Northern European females. Mm -hmm. And the third is that there is a slight genetic component. So if you have a parent who has MS, you have a, a slightly higher chance, so about a 2% chance versus a 1% chance in the general population. And what they think is that it is something that you are exposed to when you are a child, that there is some sort of virus, and they think that the virus combined with a lack of sunlight is the reason why individuals develop MS. How many people are affected here in the United States? 400,000 people in the U.S. are affected with MS, so it's about one out of every 750. I see. Now let's talk about your organization. Sure. What is the mission of MS Society? Yes, yeah, so our mission is to end the devastating effects of MS. There's two primary ways that we serve individuals with MS, and that's through research. So 40% of all the money that we raise goes directly towards research, and the other 60% goes towards programs. Let's talk more about those programs and services that you have for the community, starting with those that focus on the people that have MS. Sure. We have a wide variety of programs here in the Santa Barbara area. Um, starting from sort of the newly diagnosed, I can kind of move th through the whole range of MS because mm -hmm. um, people are diagnosed with MS very young, between the ages of 20 and 40. So we have a program that's called Living Well with MS that's geared towards individuals who've had it for less than five years. And that is um, a, a, a comprehensive, life-changing program where there's uh, an online knowledge component, there's an in-person fitness component, because a lot of times if MS affects you physically, you, you still want to work out and be active, but you're not exactly sure what you can do now that you have some, some changes. And the third part is that we have a combination of teleconferences where they can actually talk to directly to an MS specialist. And then um, we also have a mental health counselor who comes as well to just really talk to individuals about what it was like to get that diagnosis and how they're processing it. One of the things that we're really most proud of is that we offer physical activity classes. And those are ongoing and it's really for anybody with MS, friends and family, and really anybody who feels like they would find benefit. And so we offer um, adaptive yoga twice a week as well as we have what's called our open gym class. And that is where a physical therapist is actually on hand to, to monitor people working out. Each person gets their own training plan. And most people who participate in the open gym are males. And because males um, don't often get MS, then they're, they're sort of a minority within a minority. So it's, it's nice that we're able to offer that for them. And there's no barrier with cost. The classes are very low cost. And if you are not able to afford them, then we scholarship people. How do you do to involve the community and take mm -hmm. action to help yes. us? We have a variety of different ways. We have uh, are actually a public awareness committee here in Santa Barbara. It's a group of dedicated volunteers that's really working to raise the awareness that we are here in Santa Barbara. Um, because MS is a disease that doesn't affect a great number of people, we really have to work very hard on that public awareness. Another way that people get involved is we have a, a very active um, activism or advocacy component in MS. So for the last five years, we have been working with city council. And I'm proud to say that in September of last year, on the city level, we have what's called an access advisory committee. And so basically our function is to really work with city council to make sure that the needs of the, the disability community as a whole are being heard. 
And then, of course, there are special events where we always need really all the all the help we can get in, in, in having those happen. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. And obviously events are a good way for you mm -hmm. to raise money, but mm -hmm. uh, how do you get funded in general? So in general, so overall the, our chapter is a, it's a $10 million chapter. We, we cover a large area throughout the Southern California area. And so um, six million of that is raised through our three biggest uh, special events campaigns, which are our walks, which we hold them locally as well which are Walk MS, our bike tour, which is held in Ventura County and comes into, goes into Santa Barbara County as well, and then our Dinner of Champions, which is held in Los Angeles. Uh, the rest of the $4 million is all raised through foundations and grants. So the, you've, you've asked a great question because a lot of people assume that we get public funding, and we don't. We raise every penny that we spend. So. Congratulations. Yeah, That's thank difficult. you. Especially yeah. nowadays. <laughs> and um, I would like also to know if people would like to have access to books or do you have sure. a library or? We have a wealth of information. Uh, we have, there's, there's first off, there's our website, which is nationalmssociety.org front slash cal. We have here, just something I'm just very proud of, is we have a wealth of information here, and they can people can drop in, they can call me anytime, and I'm happy to educate people more about MS. So can you leave us with your phone information and sure. the address so people sure. can come and visit? So our telephone number here is 682-8783, and our address is 14 West Valerio Street, so we are right near the corner of State and Valerio Street, and we are behind uh, the IHOP in downtown Santa Barbara. Well, thank you, Jeanette, for all that information, and sure. I wish the best for you and thank MS you. Society. Thank you. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.